Hi. Hi. My name is Wills. <laughs> now, if you couldn't tell already, you know, um, I'll probably actually do this video first. I don't have any visual proof, but I'll probably do this video first. So you guys probably won't know where I was or why I was away. So, you know, I'll, uh, that, that'll, that'll all be in due course, don't worry. And that spot on my forehead is really starting to get on my nerves. Anyway, uh, you will all know in due course where and why I was away. Um, I keep looking at the word away that's sitting right there because I really want to make a point about something that's going to be happening soon enough, don't worry. Anyway, um, so, to, to, in case you couldn't tell by the, the title of this video, that was, that was meant to be a hashtag, by the way. Um, cause, um, uh, my planning phase is that I'm gonna have title this video a hashtag confessions. Now, I'm going a little insane, cause, as you'll find out in due course, and the reason why and whatnot, uh, we don't have any internet at all right now, so, I haven't been on the internet in a very long time, and given that I'm at home, that's kind of, you know, just a little bit unnerving. Um, <laughs> I'm incredibly itchy, so if I keep itching and it annoys you, I apologize in advance. Um, I haven't done a video in quite a while either, so if this seems really weird, it's because I'm just trying to organize my thoughts at the same time. Um, and also, it's like ridiculously hot, but I don't want to open a window because then bugs will just come in my window, and I've already cleaned my window, so I don't want to... Like, you know, let bugs crawl all over it. Also, I am growing a magnificent, magnificent beard right now. Anyway, um, the first thing I'd like to say is that uh, I look pretty good for someone who's pretty hungover, don't I? There we go, that was a fart. I look pretty good for someone who's pretty hungover, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> Best hungover looking man ever. No, but seriously, I'm still kind of hungover because, you know, that's, that's kind of what normal people get after being drunk it's the following day when they're hungover so that's me right now at the following day and the worst part about it was today um like recently i rung up work and talked to the like reception lady and i was all like so uh when can i come in and do like work and stuff and things and what have you and she was all like oh call again on monday and i'm like all right so this was a couple of days ago and i'm like all right I'll call again on Monday. And then I woke up today, which is Sunday. And I was all like, I woke up at like 2 o'clock and I played video games for like an hour. And then I was like, oh fuck. And I checked the time. And while I was checking the time, I checked the date. And I'm like, oh. Because I had just had this sudden moment of, holy shit, I woke up at 2 o'clock. <laughs> and I've been playing video games for an hour. And I, th and I uh, thought that it was Monday. And so I had freaked out because I woke up at 2 o'clock on a supposedly a Monday. That's what my mind was saying. Oh, you woke up at 2 o'clock on a Monday. And you were supposed to call work at like 9 o'clock. So, you know. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Nothing like really coming out of your hangover than, you know, thinking, holy fucking shit, I should have run work at like 4 hours ago. And not done it. So. Ah, uh, confessions. Okay, so the first confession that I have to make to you guys, I'm going to treat this like it's a confession room and you're the father, or uh, mother, this situation. Uh, no offense to my real mother and father, wonderful people. But, you know what I mean, like the church, uh, yeah, I don't know what they call the, the female version of a father in the church, because I'm not religious. That's the first confession. I don't religion at all, really. I just don't. I know loads of people who are super religious, and basically all the guys in my family are super religious. But I'm just... I'm just... I don't have faith. Why have faith when you have coffee? Oh, that's a good coffee. Anyway, so... You know, I'm not religious. I... I don't know, I'm just not religious. Anyway, the next confession I would like to make is, um, I draw my inspiration for this whole YouTube thing. By the way, do you like this shirt? I posted about it before. I fucking love this shirt, man. 
it's got a very it's got a very very shapely woman with words and things written across her boobs I've never actually noticed that that word says once because I was kind of just looking in the shapely body anyway I like this shirt a lot and it's a hoodie Hey, it's hard to put on a hoodie when you've got so much hair. Do I, do I look like a criminal now? Do I look like a criminal? Am I criminally enough? Anyway, my name is Wheels. I don't know why I'm doing my intro again. Uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, if you're new to my account and you see this, you're going to think I'm some weirdo, aren't you? Anyway. Um. You know. My next confession is, uh. Well, that was weird, man. I just, I'm kind of tired and a little bit hungover. And I just looked over there and I thought I saw a giant fucking spider, but it's actually just the, like, hinges of my door. So I was like, oh. Oh. No, that's an exaggeration. That's a dramatization. But anyway, my next confession is that I have a picture of some random bitch on the internet who I have a crush on and... They are taken, and I have them as my backdrop because I catfished one of their pictures from their profile. Moving on, I shipped Jihiro and the the, the 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 two lovebirds in the, the, the Spirited Away. Fucking love that film. If you haven't seen Spirited Away? Go watch Spirited Away and be spirited away by its beautifulness. This is such a good fucking anime that you will shit awesomeness. You will shit rainbows after watching that. Guaranteed. 100% IGN approved. No, but seriously, I fucking love that film. It's so amazing. I watched Spirited Away and uh, the next confession that I have to make about Spirited Away on the subject of Spirited Away is so basically every time I watched that film I've cried. A little bit. It's a, it's a, to, and when when you see something beautiful, you you want to cry about it. It's, a, it's just an emotional film. She's crying while eating rice balls. It's a it's an emotional film. Anyway, let, let me find a quote. There'll be a quote somewhere on here which backs me up, which backs up my uh, true, true, truly a movie for the whole family. A stunning experience. That's from Empire Magazine. And, uh, one of the greatest animated films ever made by John Lasseter, director of Toy Story. The director of fucking Toy Story loves this film. You know it's a good film when the director of Toy Story loves it. When the director of, like, one of the most successful animated films ever says this is the best animated film ever, you know that it's a fucking good film. Anyway, I'm going to stop trying to defend Spirited Away and all its awesomeness. And the fact that, you know, they're an awesome pairing. Ship, 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 ship. <sighs> My next confession is that I used to do this thing where I'd like... So, my mum is pretty strict when it comes to a lot of internet things. Not lately, but, like, she used to be really strict about it. But, um, when I had a certain phone particular device which I currently don't have anymore but when I had a phone that had internet and stuff I sort of got myself into a giant sort of financial problem because I'm smart and I figured out how to bypass the like internet block you know how like your parents can put a restriction on the internet so that when you use up a certain amount of internet you just can't access the internet anymore well I, I just clicked a couple of buttons and I continued on the internet because at the time I was you know, messaging someone a, a lot. Actually, I, I don't know if they're on the internet. Like, uh, when I get the internet back, I will try to find them, because I do actually really enjoy talking to them. We now talk to them all the time. I used to talk to them all the time on Kik. I don't know if it's called Kik. But it's K-I-K-I. -I. It's like that, you know, social media, like, little phone thing that loads of people on Google Plus have. Ugh. Well, I used to have that, and I'm pretty sure most of you added me on it. I was like, how the magic magician will... I don't know, some fucking... I was Hal, okay, from Hal's Moving Castle, which is another fucking great anime, but I don't have it right next to me because I purposely grabbed Spirited Away so I could have it right on hand when I made Spirited Away references. Anyway, 
you know how, um, what was I saying? All oh, right, um, internet. So, Lexi, I don't want to try to say her last name because I'm afraid I'll butcher it. But it was like MC something. I can't remember. It was MCL, but I can't remember what the last few letters were. Hello, Daddy Long Legs. Anyway, so this Lexi chick, who I used to talk to all the time on Kick, this is just mind blowing, a great conversation. I sort of got a giant bill from talking to her. Because what I did was I was talking to her on my way to school. Because of different time zones. She was probably like just getting in bed or something. And I was on my way to school. So I was all like texting her on my way to school on the, while I was waiting for the train. And then it was suddenly like, you ran out of internet. And I'm like, fuck. And so, you know, I sat there going, fuck, for a little bit. Then I was like, oh, I can just hit this button, this button, this button, this button. And voila, I have internet again. So I kept talking to her for the whole day. And then I, a couple of days later, my parents had me up about it, and they were like, So, uh, son, care to tell us where this $800 internet bill came from? And I'm sitting there like, uh, you what? <laughs> and they're like, yep, $800 bill, mate. You, it's, it's on your phone, and it says that you, like, totally fucking went over the thing, and we don't know how you did it. And it turns out, stingy cunts. Of the phone bill place that I forgot, got my internet from, like, this chick claimed, and she took it back really quickly, because they're super fucking stingy about this shit. She took it back real quick, but she was like, oh, well, that's weird, because, um, supposedly if he goes over his data cap, it can only go 100 over, and then it stops. And then, we're sitting there like, you what, cunts? You what? So you're saying, I clocked up an $800 bill, even though I can only clock up a $100 bill, because supposedly it shuts off automatically anyway. And then she's like, oh, no, 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 we really want those $800. Please give us your $800. So she managed to haggle her way to 400 So, you know, that's pretty good. Pretty sure I'm still paying that big bill off. And that's one of the things my friends take the piss out of me all the time. They're always like, so, you paid off that giant bill yet? And I'm sitting there like, maybe, maybe in like two years. So anyway, and I know that there's loads of rich people out there who are probably like, $800 bill, Whoa, ha. Ha! Huh, sipping on champagne even though this is coffee. $800 is what I used to wipe my ass with. Well, um, we don't do that. $800 is like dropping a giant financial nuke up our ass. So, you know, that, that's why we haggled it down to 400 which is only like dropping a normal bomb on our ass. So, you know, that, that happened. Anyway. The other confession related to my phone was that I would always sneak it, because I got really good at smuggling. So I'd always, like, smuggle my phone into my room. I wouldn't even use it. I would just, just because I knew I wasn't allowed it in my room, I would smuggle it into my room for fun, because I knew I could get away with it. I wouldn't use it. It would just end up sitting next to me. But I just smuggled it in, because I was like, ha, fuck are you, I can smuggle it in. Ha, 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 ha. But now I don't even like using a cell phone. Because, I mean, although it's convenient, yeah, um, the downside is that a lot of people of my generation spend more than, like, 90% of their time, like, on their cells. And it's just, it's kind of sad, you know? <laughs> We're communicating with more people, sure. I can't deny that. I am on the internet 24-7. But, if you're at a dinner table, you're eating dinner, not playing on your cell phone. And if I don't have a cell phone, then I can't get told off for that, and you can't call me a hypocrite, so fuck you. I don't have a cell phone. I don't use a cell phone. If I need to call someone via a cell phone, I either use the landline or my dad's cell phone. I just don't own a cell phone. And my parents really want me to own one, because they're like, we really need to communicate with you in times of great need. And I'm sitting over here like, I really don't give a fuck. Please just get me some cleaners so I can clean my laptop on a regular basis because for some reason it builds up grime very quickly. I'm not saying I masturbate before anyone says that. It's just a dirty thing because I lost the little, like, the little bits of padding that go on each corner of the computer that stop the build up. So now when you look at my computer it's just like, 
you won't be able to see this because I'm actually running along the line, but like down along here and along here and all around the edges of where the lid goes up and down, it's just got grime building up because of me going. So yeah, every time I open and close my laptop, more dirt gets in there and then it gets compressed and compressed and compressed and compressed and compressed and compressed. El Presto, motherfucker! I have no fucking idea what that tangent was. So, you know, that happens. I smuggle my phone in my remote. What else can I say? Uh, like any good gonna be a failure in life person, I've, um, you know, I've stolen a fair amount of things. Yeah. No. I'm one of those people who just mooches off people, and then I'm sort of. In some instances, I'm just sort of like, oh, hey, this is cool. This is mine now. Like, um, nah, nah, it's, it's already packed away. But, like, we're, we're, we're walking down the street. We were checking out this house that we were going to move into. And, um, there was, like, a double-ended screwdriver, like, just laying on the driveway. And I probably shouldn't say this, given that we're moving in. But, like, there was a double-ended screwdriver. So, like, on one end, it was, like, a, I forget the names of the screws, but, like, on one end, it was one particular type of screwdriver, and then you twisted it, and on the other end, it was a different one. And, you know, I found it, and I was just like, oh, cool, but it made a, oh, cool, it's a thing, and it does stuff. And then I, you know, I pocketed it, and we've returned here, which is technically stealing, because we're on someone else's property. So, you know, that was, that happened. And then I got home and I was like, hey, look, I found this on the driveway. And they're like, you stole it. I'm like, oh, I just sort of permanently borrowed it without permission. Oh. Where are you? You really can't. I know you're around here somewhere. Like, uh, hang on. Yeah, yeah, here we go. I definitely borrowed this without permission. <laughs> yeah. No, this, this belongs to school. This belongs to my college. And I just sort of borrowed it without, I indefinitely borrowed it without permission, but I intend on returning. Um, at some point, maybe near the end of the year when I'm about to leave school. So, you know, whoa. Um, what else, what else, what else can I confess to before the video is ended? Well, I've already confessed that I'm a total creep. I've already confessed that I steal things. I've already confessed that I stole other things. I've already confessed that I lied to my parents. I've already confessed that I did other things. I've already... Okay. <laughs> okay, so I... Another thing I can confess to, and I sort of... I put this behind me, but, you know, you can't not no longer address things like this. Uh, so when I was going through... A very emotional stage in my life and I had a lot of shit going on and by shit I mean physical shit as in parts of my body were being taken out and replaced by other things and I was dosed up on drugs half of the time so that I would not feel the excruciating pain in my body and like while I was going through surgeries much like this one and uh, many accompanying surgeries, and I had a lot of family stress on me at the time. Uh, you know, there was my parents splitting up. So this all happened at once. I got a bunch of surgeries, and my family broke up, and it, 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 my dad had to move house, and there was all this emotional shit compounding on my tiny young brain. And uh, I turned to the one thing that lots of people tend to turn to in situations like this. I became a bit of a bully. Um, I picked on someone a lot. Uh, my forte, so to speak, was um, I would steal things from them. Um, not, yeah, I wouldn't permanently steal things, like I wouldn't take things and never return them, but I would do things like I would take their hats or their scarves and then I would leave them somewhere else. Or I'd take someone's bag and I'd put it in a rubbish bin. Just things like that. I don't know, this is really bad and I shouldn't say this. But it was my way of, I don't know, talking to someone at the time. That's what I thought was right. It was, just, I don't know. I feel like shit 
when I talk about it now, like, holy shit, I can't believe I actually did that to someone. Like, I actually took their shit away from them, and I made them feel bad about it, and I laughed at them when they had to go and retrieve it. And I'm, I'm looking back on it, and I'm like, why? Why the fuck would I do that? But at the time, it was fun. It was what I wanted to do, you know? I don't know. That's what you do in situations like that. All right, li to lighten the mood up a little bit, um, <laughs> another thing I did was I, uh, so there's this guy at school who kind of takes the piss out of me, but I mean, uh, I can, I, because of what I just said, I can kind of relate to what's going on with him. He's got a lot of emotional shit going, clear, clearly got a lot of emotional shit going on in his life. You know, his parents bearing down on him quite hard and all that sort of stuff. And, um, you know, he tends to take the piss out of me, calling me a cripple and things like that, which, you know, I don't mind because I am a cripple. I spend a lot of time in the block, so to speak. And the block is like the part of school where they send you when you're physically incapable or mentally incapable. And I spend a fair amount of time there because I can't do PE, which means that I end up sitting there on my computer instead, which is a fair trade-off, you know. I get out of doing the one class everyone hates and get to do a bunch of shit that I love doing. No harm, no foul. So... You know, he takes this out and he calls me a cripple. And uh, one day he took it a little bit further and he said, um, the only sex you'll ever get is pity sex. So I responded with a statement that I, I, I still looking back on it kind of believe, which is pity sex is the best kind of sex. That's what I said to him. So this guy was all like, ha, you're a cripple. The only kind of sex you'll ever get is pity sex. And then I'm sitting there like, how is pity sex a bad thing? Think about it. You're all like, oh no, my life sucks. I am an emotional and physical wreck. My body is fucked up. I can do things with my fingers that lots of people can't do. I can do other things with my fingers lots of people can't do. I am an emotional fucking wreck. <laughs> I look like a hairy man ape. <laughs> I have the intelligence of an ape, which is not very intelligent, the, uh, I mean the dumb ones, not the smart ones. Yeah, please have sex with me. And then they're all like, ah, oh, your life sucks, I want to make it feel better. Pity sex. That just sounds really good to me. I don't know. Don't know why, just does. Pity sex sounds great. You get them all soppy and emotional, so you've got the whole emotional attachment thing, which makes you look like a really good guy, you know, because we're all like, oh, we'll flirt with the dangerous guy, but we don't take him home. We take home the nice, emotional, charismatic, smiley guy. And then, you know, we do the sex with the smiley and happy guy. And then, you know who the smiley, happy guy is? Who's the emotional and physical wreck? Yeah. Not saying I'm ever gonna get laid, but, you know, if I do, the guy's probably right. It will probably be pity sex. Because, you know, if you want a ruthless, horrible, compacting story with lots of blood and me screaming in pain, like 95% of the time, I can give you that story and it can go on for hours. I can give you stories of how I was half conscious for a guy twisting a screw out of my foot. You know? I can give you all sorts of stories. If you want to know what particular types of pain feel like. Muscles tearing, tendons snapping, bones breaking, bones fracturing, bones going out of place, bones dislocating. Bones snapping off and then drifting around inside my body. Fuck man, I can give you any in-depth personal... That's coffee. Any in-depth personal opinion, fucking personal experience, stories of this shit. All of this shit has happened to me, okay? So while you're all there going, holy fucking shit, I'm sitting there going, yeah, no, that really happened to me. Yeah, I know. Crazy, eh? I was like pulled out of my mum, and I had a broken shoulder. Speaking of being pulled out of my mum... <laughs> oh god no. Oh, 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 
what I just said. That's no, no, that's not what I meant. Oh, 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 oh God. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> what I just said, I should not have said that. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> um, you know, it's my birthday, is what I was trying to say. Very soon is my birthday, so wish me a happy birthday, cunts. No, but seriously, it is my birthday in like two weeks. So that's pretty... That's going to be an experience and a half. I'm going to be one year older and legally able to do the pity sex that I was previously talking about. Do you like that segue I made right there? I took it from, you know, pity sex is awesome through to, hey, it's my birthday back to, which means I'm legally able to do the pity sex thing. Seriously, though, pity sex. Yay for pity sex. So, yeah. Because without pity sex, guys like me would never get laid. That is the crazy social nuke that I'm going to drop on you right now. People are such judgmental cunts that what they want is the awesome version of me, which is something that I've been thinking about. Here's what I gather from, like, talking to people and stuff about, like, what, uh, like, you know, awesome version of me is. So, like, here's, here's how I picture it, okay? Taller. Alright, minus the facial hair, maybe like, you know, the, the, um, the early morning facial hair, where it's just very, very, very lightly patched all over, if any facial hair at all that is. Uh, 9 to 5 haircut, which you'll get if you play Fallout 4, um, muscular, abs, jet black hair, misty blue eyes, smart, school diploma and all that fucking shit. That's like what I imagine the awesome version of me is. If you just picture that for a second. Fucking suit back hair, awesome job. Fucking abs and all that. Fucking misty blue eyes and fucking shit like that. I guarantee you that's like the awesome version of me. Somewhere out there, there is that very accurate description. Like a six foot four, abs, fucking nine to five haircut, early morning facial hair. Which you'll also get if you play Fallout 4. Um, jet black hair, misty blue eyes. And, you know, smartness. So while there's Mr. Perfection over there, being on Mr. Perfect, and, you know, having the social skills of a fucking god, and then, you know, you look at his retarded cousin who is a fish out of water, who was, like, swung around in, like, a radiation zone, and then, like, thrown back at him, and then he grabbed a baseball bat, and he smacked it, and then it popped into a human. That's kind of what you get when you look at me. You get the fish that flew out of the water, was baseball batted into radiation, and then bounced back a human. Demented fucking fish. And so while he's all over there being like, Ha! I am awesome God, man! And then it's just instantly like the dreamy blue eyes get the people. By the people, I mean the females he wants to have the sexes with. <laughs> I'm sitting over here going, My life is miserable! And I'm in lots of excruciating pain! Please have sex with me! And then, you know, pity sex. My point I'm trying to make is pity sex allows people like me to have the sex. Without the pity sex, me no has no sex. Because, I mean, honest to God, I have the pooiest brown eyes there are. I have the pooiest, greasiest hair that anyone has ever touched. Seriously, though, you like my hair is so greasy that I can style it. Without product. Better than some people with product. Can start if I can hear. And when you're able to style your hair. Better than people with product. You know that your hair is either extremely greasy. Or you are. Incredibly. Lucky. 
Seeing as I am not incredibly lucky, I have incredibly greasy hair. Capiche? So, greasy hair, like poopy, Destry poopy, like if you know who Destry is, right? Take Destry Smith, okay? He was complaining about having the poopiest brown eyes ever. I'm pretty sure my eyes are poopier brown than his. And I don't have an attractive face or body part to counteract the poopy brown eye that is mine. I don't have the face that he has to contradict the just, like, black absorbing hole that is a poopy brown eye. Like, you you see someone with poopy brown eyes and it's just like, oh, you know. So, I'm over here looking like fucking psychotic Jesus, psychotic hobo Jesus with poopy brown eyes. He's sitting over there looking like fucking normal Jesus. Poopy brown eyes are not a good thing. Everyone's like, oh, I love brown eyes. I love poopy brown eyes. It's so beautiful. No, you're thinking of hazel. Hazel brown. That's what you're thinking of. You're all like, oh, brown eyes are so cute. Oh my god, I love brown eyes. Brown eyes. No, you're definitely... If you think that, if you're sitting there going, no, 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 I think brown eyes are awesome, you're definitely thinking about hazel brown. Look up the difference between poopy brown and hazel brown, and tell me that you are not thinking about hazel brown. Just saying. Throwing it out there. Plus, I've actually got really bloodshot eyes. Like, you can't actually tell that with the camera. But I've got really bloodshot as well. That and my whites are actually blue, so it doesn't even emphasize my poopy brown eyes to make them look like a tad better, like a tad little less better. That's the point I'm trying to make. He's got whitey whites and poopy brown eyes, which kind of looks like, you know, moderately acceptable. And I'm sitting over here with pale blue whites. Some On some days, it's even worse. It's like blue, blue, like actual fucking blue. So I've got blue on brown. Do you know how ugly blue on brown looks? Blue on brown looks like the thing God did when he was drunk. He was like, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's just don't fucking put brown on blue. This is good. He's going to look like a great man. And then let's just take his face. I'm going to stretch it a little bit. And I'm reenacting God. I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone who's religious. And let's just stretch his face. Uh, oh, oh, no, his eyes are too perfect. Let's just like tilt one a little bit and like put it a little bit further down so that even when he's looking straight, it sort of looks like he's looking sideways. And, and then let's like take his hair and just go, Pooh! All right, now that we've taken his hair and gone, Pooh! let's let's take dandruff and put it on steroids and put it in his hair so he has a dry scalp condition. So that it looks like he's shitting dandruff out of his hair 24-7. <coughs> More alcohol! <laughs> Alright, now that we you know, fucked up his hair and his face, let's take his forehead and let's just mm, steamroll it out a little bit. So that he has lots of forehead for people to look at. <coughs> and then... And then we'll give him a widow's peak and we'll just sort of mold it back so that it looks like he has a receding hairline. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's do that. Woo! Alcohol! I'm gone! Fuck you guys! Uh, and then, and then let's take a normal skin condition and, and let's just, like take the, the skin condition paintbrush and we'll just Blah, 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 across his chest so that he has weird light brown spots all over his chest. Yay! <laughs> alcohol! I'm gone. <coughs> uh, mm, uh, he still looks really good. We're still fucking something up. I know, really weird facial hair patterns. Yeah, let's just make it so that he can, can't grow a normal beard so that it has to either be an ugly neck beard or a weird patchy normal beard. 
<laughs> oh, and let's make it so all his hair grows really fast. So that even right after he cuts it, like a week afterward, it looks like it's grown back again. <laughs> yeah! Oh, God! And then there's face, like, facial hair, like, all over his body. This is just, like, putting his hair on his arms and putting hair on his stomach and hair on his chest. And, and I'm like, oh, why? He's, pre he's pre -pubescent? Ah! Oh. oh, sorry, it's not meant to be that hairy yet. That's for, like, 37-year-olds. Ah! Oh, well, let's keep on. <laughs> no, no, even though we've covered him in hair, made his eyes look really shitty, fucked his teeth up, fucked his eyes up, fucked his face up, basically, <laughs> and covered him in spots and covered him in hair, I still feel like there's something too good about him. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> More alcohol, and then I'll remember what I was thinking about. Oh yeah, that's right. Rare genetic bone disease. We need to give this guy a rare genetic bone disease. So that his body is just fucked up. So that he can't walk around in public without looking like a mutated freak. <laughs> well, he's going to be a, such a success in life. <coughs> he's going to be so, such a success. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. He's gonna be. He's gonna be such a success in life. You know, he's gonna have like we're gonna take his spine and then we're gonna take a little hammer and we're just gonna bash it so that now he's got like a spine and then it's got a giant dent and then it continues. Oh, he needs a birthmark. I know where we should put it. So whenever he's having a conversation, it makes it look like he's pulling down his pants to show where his birthmark is. Let's put it like right below where pants lines are. Like just above his ass cheek, like just a tiny, like just, just enough. So that it looks like when someone asks where his birthmark is, it looks like he's going to pull down his pants. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a good idea. So, you know, <clears throat> <coughs> wow, okay, that voice is actually really hard to maintain. So, you know, that's, that should hopefully give you a description on why I call myself a demented fish. <sighs> that was pretty accurate. Sorry if I just offended, like, every Christian ever with my, you know, view on probably what God did when he was creating me. Because you know how everyone's like, God created everything, God loves all of you. No, I'm God's drunk mistake. I'm what God did when he was drunk. So, yeah. I'm like, God's like, he sort of like made me. And then he came back when he was drunk and he was like, no, 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 no let's fix this and that. And like I've already enacted. So, you know. That's why I was talking about pity sex. The pity sex is amazing. <laughs> I feel like I made this whole video for pity six. I kind of did. I just wanted to talk to you guys and like connect with you guys. And uh, this is what happened instead. So basically I was like, I'm going to connect with my followers on an emotional level. And then I made this video. <clears throat> anyway, my name is Wheels. As I've already prior stated. If you like this. Or you know the shit that I was rambling. And it wasn't too offensive. And you're not sitting there going. Oh my god he is such a harsh horrible person. If you're not doing that. Then you'll probably like a lot of what is also on my YouTube channel. Which you can like. Click on the name. Wheels the Egotistical Asshole. Like which should be just below this video. If you're watching it on YouTube. You can click that, and it will take you to my YouTube channel. Uh, <clears throat> you might have to, like, go from videos. Like, it'll, it'll, you'll probably end up straight on the homepage of my channel, which you don't want to do, because that's sort of just me, like, subscribing and liking a bunch of the other people's shit. So you don't want to see all that. That's boring and fucking shit. You don't want to like, you, you won't like any of that. Uh, what you will like is clicking over to videos, so that it, all you see is 
videos of my face and uh you know you can go through and watch all of those uh my most liked series is uh is case studies of malice so you know if if you want to go watch those those are I've talked to a few people, and, and those are, like, what's most liked so far. Out of all the shit that I've rambled, it's always been me mocking a hobbit has been the favorite of all series. So, you know, you might want to check that out. It's recommended by other viewers, so to speak. Um, in the description box, you know, that, that, like, place where people write things, I tend to not really write anything there. Because I don't know what to write without spoiling the video, which is something I don't like doing. So instead of like writing very much, aside from uh, "Hello, my name is Wheels and this is a video" or something along those lines, um, what I do is I've linked a bunch of social media sites that you can go and like explore. Maybe with your best friend right hand. I don't know. That... <sighs> I'm just saying. I've looked at the analytics page. Just saying. Anyway. There's social media and stuff that you can check out, um, you know, like my Facebook page and uh, and my Google Plus and my Twitter. I do have a Tumblr, but I won't link it because I don't ever go on it ever. And I I went on there once and I was like, no, no, okay, well, let's just go uh, uh, supernatural, 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 supernatural. Okay, let's never go back there again. <sighs> Uh, no, that's actually really accurate. I went on there and I followed a bunch of supernatural related things and then I left and I've never gone back again. <laughs> so, you know, that is how all that happened. So, you know, um, adios. I'll see you next time.